So today I'm out here on the ranch trying to figure out why the oil pressure light and buzzer is going off on my New Holland backhoe. So this is a 2001 New Holland LB 75B tractor loader backhoe. I've done an oil change on this not too long ago, maybe max six months ago. And you know, the oil was pretty bad, switched it out. It's got nice clean oil in it. But right now I'm getting the oil pressure light and sensor going off and I need to figure out why. Do I have low oil pressure? Do I have high oil pressure? Do I really have normal oil pressure and the sensor's bad? I don't really know. So what I got to do to test this, luckily on this engine, they're pretty easy to get to. As you can see, I've already pulled the sensor off. That's why there's some oil leak in there. Do a manual oil pressure test. You're going to need an oil pressure test kit. So this one here is one that I just drove down the street and went to Harbor Freight and picked one up. This was about $30 at the time of this video, but I was looking while I was at Harbor Freight and you can pick one of these up a little bit cheaper off of Amazon. So if you have a little bit of time, I recommend just getting one off of Amazon. You're going to save a little bit of money. I'll put a link down in the description to one of these that's comparable. So you get this kit and you find the fitting and I've already tested it this is the fitting that I'm going to need for mine so this fitting actually just goes on the end of this other fitting and then you just screw it into the engine all right now to take the sensor off you just unhook the wire like this one on mine just literally just slides off this one I've broken it loose already this was a 15 16 socket I did break it loose so I can just unscrew it by hand normally this shouldn't be in there too tight it just Took a little bit of pressure to break this loose and then mine was able to easily unthread by hand. So here's a shot of my sensor. It's older. I don't know. It looks like it may be the original one. But to figure out what threads or what fitting you need, you can just put it close to this to try to get a good guess on what size fitting you need to put in the engine. So that way you're not fumbling through all of them. And this is the one we need. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this one into the engine. and get it started you can just twist the hose to get it started in there so i'm just constantly spinning it until it tightens up well all right so after you get that nice and snug like i said you don't have to put it in too tight but it just needs to be snug so you don't have a bunch of oil coming out so we're basically going to take the gauge now and set it down somewhere it's not going to fall off and crank the engine so i've cranked the engine up and high oil pressure so for this tractor at idle it should be around 18 to 20 and at high rpm it should be about 40. so this is quite a bit higher than it should be now you want to let your engine run probably for about 20 minutes to get a good reading as the oil heats up and the viscosity starts to change because of the heat, uh, then your oil pressure will change slightly. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and I'm going to kick up the RPM a little and see, you know, how well this changes. But either way, that's why my sensor is going off. We've got high oil pressure, which is not good for your engine. Now there's at least things we can troubleshoot to figure out what's going on. I let the engine run for about 15 minutes or so and it really didn't change much. What am I going to do here? So now that I know I've got high oil pressure, there's some things that I know to do. I'm going to do a little bit of research on this engine to see if there's some other things. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the oil filter. So when I did my last oil filter change, I put in the recommended viscosity oil and I had to use this aftermarket Fram oil filter because it's the only one that I could find at the time. So instead of wasting all the oil, I'm just going to switch the filters, maybe top it off a little bit and see if that changes the oil pressure. If changing the oil filter does not change the oil pressure, then I'm going to drain all the oil out and put a much lower viscosity oil in the engine, put the new filter back on, run it for a little bit and see if that changes the oil pressure. If the other actions I take don't reduce the oil pressure, then I'm going to tear apart this housing and find out where that relief valve is, clean it out, make sure that's actually working well, put it back together, see if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, 
then I'm going to have to dig in more to find out what to do because the only other thing I can think of is there would be stoppages in the engine not allowing the oil to flow properly and at that point you're not fully lubricating your engine the way it's supposed to and honestly I don't really know what to do with it at that point. So I'm going to try the simple things and I'll make a part two to this video to see what resolved the issue or if I could even get the issue resolved. But this is how you do an oil pressure test. Pick you up one of these oil pressure testers. Just find the specs for your engine to find out what pressures you should have out of your engine. This will tell you what it is. All right, so if this video was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, also please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.